My name is Olivia Holden and I'm an illustrator based in Lancashire in the United Kingdom. Today I'm back with the Be Ready Explorers team and we are going to do an art workshop based on some of the topics touched on in the Be Ready Explorers Senegal edition. So I'm here today to do an art activity, a little workshop that you can follow along with. Um, I have based this on the Be Ready Explorers Senegal edition, which is the next edition, and inside the Explorers Visit Senegal. And there's lots of lovely illustrations and information all about the country that you can learn and read about, and just find out lots of interesting facts. Um, what I've chosen to focus on today is this page, which is Creature Compassion. So I'm going to read out a little bit about the compassionate creatures on this page, in particular the elephants. So I'll just read this out. Did you know that elephants are known for being especially caring and consoling animals? From saving swimmers in distress to helping a child to safety before an impending typhoon, elephants seem to know how important comp compassion is for survival. They're sometimes even used as therapy animals, helping humans heal their hurting hearts and minds. You can also see them gather around and join trunks as if to say, I know this is hard, I'm here for you. Female elephants also keep an eye out and help to take care of their friends' babies. Baby elephants are called calves, by the way. Dr Helen Lambert, an animal welfare scientist and consultant, shares that if a calf has been temporarily separated from their family, older female elephants will seek them out and bring them back to the family herd. Elephants will even touch or cradle an overwhelmed young elephant with their trunk, stroking their bodies and letting them lean on them for comfort. So I've chosen to do a picture of a lovely elephant today um, which you can join along with and I've chosen the elephant because like I've just read the elephant is a very compassionate creature and that is something which we can take into our everyday lives showing compassion to others um, our family our friends people at school people in need um, showing each other kindness and just being there for other people when perhaps they need it not everyone has easy days all the time. Some days, some days, sometimes, some days are hard and sometimes, some days are happy. But just by showing people compassion and empathy, we could make those days that they're finding hard a little bit easier. So just be nice to people, show people empathy and show kindness to people. And that's what elephants do. So let's get on with our elephant today. So what you'll need for your picture is a piece of paper that you can draw your elephant on. So I've got a really big piece of paper. I'm going to do a really big elephant um, that I'm going to draw on. And I've also got some paints because I'm going to paint some of the elephant and the background. I've got some crayons here. So you could use any of these, you could use pencils, you could use paint, you don't need to use them all, um, just use what you've got. I am also, I've got some old tissue paper here, which I'm going to scrunch up, like so, and I'm going to stick this onto my picture because elephants have really wrinkly skin. So can you see how that tissue paper has gone all wrinkly like so I'm going to I'm going to stick that onto my picture and then I'm going to paint over it to try and get that elephant skin kind of effect so if you've got any paper that you want to scrunch up and have a go at doing that that would be really fun um I've also got some newspaper so if you've got some newspaper that you could scrunch up and stick onto your picture you could try that I've cut mine into little strips, like so. Just because newspaper is, you know, very grey and black and white, which elephants are really very grey. So, I'm going to 
create some texture with my newspaper by sticking that onto my elephant and painting over it and I'm just kind of experimenting really which is what this workshop is about it's not about making perfect pictures it's about experimenting having fun with different materials and just enjoying what you make um, and enjoying trying you know new things that you could draw with in the future so if you get all the things that you want to use in your picture and then we'll get started so I'm just going to start with my elephant's head and I'm just going to draw the trunk coming round here like so and then he's got quite or she's got quite a big back like that I'm gonna go round here and I think my elephant's gonna be walking along oh and the big elephant ears an elephant <clears throat> and then we'll do eyes You can do your elephant however you want, it doesn't have to be walking along like mine. So, now we've drawn our elephant out. There we go, you can see that. And we are going to, I, first of all, I think I'm going to start with collaging my textures on. So I've got some PVA glue and I'm just going to stick on my tissue paper and get that underneath where I'm going to paint so that that's like the base sort of texture because I did speak about creating that elephant skin kind of effect so I'm just going to cut out some shapes of this and I'm going to stick it onto my picture So I'm just sticking down my tissue paper onto my elephant to get that wrinkly sort of effect. And when you are making your, your picture, just remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm being quite loose with mine and I have no idea what it's going to look like in the end. But, you know, it it's a lot more fun when you just go for it and you have fun and experiment while you're making your pictures and you don't worry about it looking really really perfect and good because most of the time when you have fun doing it it's going to look absolutely fantastic at the end because you can see how much fun a person's had when they're creating their picture so now i've collaged my elephant with the tissue paper and newspaper there you can see where I've stuck on the different bits of paper there. I think I am actually going to put a few strands of the tissue paper in the background because um, my elephants are sort of walking through the jungle in type rainforest area. You can have a little think about where you want your elephant to be. Um, it might just be that your elephant doesn't need a background or doesn't want a background but if you do have a background have a think where you want your elephant to be do they want to be you know having a bath in a watering hole or walking through on the African plains just um, yeah have a think what you want in your background so that you can if you need to put some texture down as well you can do So now I've done all the collaging bits that I want to do, there we go, you can see where I've stuck my tissue paper and newspaper and now I'm going to start painting and working into my elephant picture. So if you're using paints then you can do the same or crayons, whichever you decided that you wanted to do, just um, remember to have fun and enjoy colouring up your elephant.
So now we've painted up um, the elephant and my tissue paper behind the elephant has made it look super wrinkly. You can have a look at the texture really close. You can see that he looks like a very wrinkly elephant. So that's worked well. Um, wanted a wrinkly elephant like elephant skin. So um, hopefully you're having fun and you've painted up your elephant. I think now I'm going to have a little look at the background. Um, As you can see we have managed to create so much texture in our picture um, by using all the different collaging techniques so by using all that tissue paper and crayon we've created this lovely wrinkly sort of ele elephant skin um, which has been very very fun to work with see there's his ear got all wrinkly um, by using that tissue paper and, so yes, and the baby elephant not as wrinkly because it's just a little baby but still so that is our workshop finished for today we have finished our picture here's my elephant as you can see we've created loads of texture in that picture um, and we've just had fun experimenting with lots of different techniques um, all in one and I hope you've enjoyed it and um, if you do create a picture then please head over to the Be Ready Explorers website and you can send in your picture to Be Ready Explorers and there is lots of information there of where your picture can go. So I hope you enjoyed today and I look forward to seeing all your amazing creations of your different elephants and speak to you soon. Bye!